Hi guys, welcome back! Maybe from my ingredients that you can see, you already know what I'm going to make for my Filipino viewers out there. So guys, for today's video, I am going to make leche flan. It's been a while since I made leche flan. So for our ingredients, we have evap milk. We have sweetened condensed milk, so one can of that and one can of this. Just a pinch of salt, about a tablespoon of vanilla, and we have vanilla. I'm going to put probably one tablespoon to two tablespoon of vanilla. I have eight eggs. I'm going to separate the yolks from the white. And I have sugar just to uh, use for caramelizing. And then, yes, I am going to put uh, cream cheese. So, the first thing I wanted to do is mix the cream cheese using my hand mixer. So guys, I made a lot of um, lecho plan before. But this is the first time I'm going to try to add cream cheese. sweetened condensed milk to the cream cheese The white is separated from the egg yolk. Okay, now I am going to add the milk, the ebab, and the condensed. And then I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt, just a pinch. And we're gonna add our vanilla. I'll just put one tablespoon. And then we'll mix it really good. So if you guys want it a little sweeter, uh, you can add about a cup of sugar. So it's up to you. If you want it sweet, then add sugar. But if you want it not too sweet, one condensed milk is probably enough. Then we're going to add our cream cheese. This time I'm going to use the whisk so I can mix it better. I don't want to use the mixer, the hand mixer, because I don't want it to mix it too much so that's why I'm using the whisk make sure all the cream cheese are well incorporated with the milk and the egg yolk and I don't see any more lumps and it's up to you guys if you know if, how, how you like the texture of your lecture plan and you can strain this when you put it on your uh, pan and this is the kind of pan I will use and this is where we're going to caramelize the sugar before I put this mixture and uh, it depends how you like your texture and before you put it here you can strain it while you're pouring to your pan or you can just directly pour it without straining it 
So, we'll put that aside. Okay, guys. Next step, we are going to put the sugar on my pan right here. And, uh, oh, again, guys, I am going to steam my lecha flan. You can also bake it. Just use a big pan and put water. And then you put your lecha flan inside the baking pan with water and then you can bake it but this for my for for this video i am going to steam my lecher flame and so this is the next step we are going to caramelize this sugar there's no measurement on the sugar guys it's up to you how much you want how much caramelized caramelization you want on your pan then we're just going to put this directly to the stove and we'll just wait until it caramelized make sure it's even before it gets cold because it's gonna get hard so you just keep tilting it okay there you go we'll wait a few minutes to let it cool down a bit okay guys now our pan is uh, got cooler a little bit already and it's time to put our uh, mixture to the pan so it's up to you guys how how much you want and for me I'm just going to put probably half of the pan so it's easier and faster to cook because it depends how thick your flan is of course the thicker the longer the cooking process and my water is almost boiling already for my to, to steam our flan so there you go guys and then I am going to cover it with the foil so the water will not go inside when you're steaming it Make sure that it's covered properly so there's no water will go inside your flan and this is just what I do I just go like this and make sure that this is really tight over here and I just fold it like this so when I'm going to try to see if the flan is done it will be easy to lift the foil because if it is not done the way how I wanted it I have to cover it back so it's easy to put the foil back but make sure that on this side it's really tight This is my steamer and this is where the water boiling and I have two so we're gonna put one pan on the bottom and the second pan on top and we're gonna cook this for uh, I'll put the alarm for 25 minutes and then we're gonna check it after 25 minutes and if it needed more cooking then we'll add a few more minutes so we'll see you in about 25 minutes okay it's been 25 minutes guys I'm going to check it and I'm gonna use toothpick to try so there's a little bit more so we'll try the bottom one a little bit more still maybe five 
more minutes. Guys, our plan is done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do it this way on the side to loosen the plan. I did it for 30 minutes, 35 minutes guys, because um, my regular plan without the cream cheese, I do it for 30 minutes. I, I steam it for 30 minutes, but this one, because I guess because it has cream cheese, so it's five minutes longer. So I kind of just do that and wiggle it, so it will be easier to get it out from this pan. So just wiggle it. And then we're going to get a plate. And we'll flip it over. And hopefully it's good. Oh, it's still kind of hot. So we'll try to flip it over. Here's our lecture plan, guys. 